The University of Arkansas Fort Smith invites you to take a step back in time yes. and experience live radio. Kevin Jones, along with a few students, are here with details on the 1940s Radio Hour. Thank you so much for joining yes, us, everybody. Yes, welcome, welcome, everybody. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go down the line. Tell us your name and who you play in the show. Kevin um, Jones, and I play a professor in the English department. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's you. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I direct the show, and this is Casey Goodson. Okay. I'm Casey Goodson. I play Wally Ferguson. I am Christopher Monterosa, and I am Arthur Pops Bailey. I'm Melissa Foley, and I play Ginger Brooks. I'm Brianna McAfee, and I play Connie Miller. Okay, very good. Yeah. Kevin, tell us about uh, what the 1940s Radio Hour, what is it? It's a live show uh, from December 1942 from the Algonquin Room of the Hotel Astor in New York City from fictional WOV. And so we get to see these people come to their night job after working two or three jobs, and then they're radio stars at night. And so they're trying to live the dream of being live radio, and we have a live band on stage over 30 songs and just an amazing uh, talent with uh, songs, dances, live commercials, yeah. comedy, the whole shebang. That's nice. amazing. Yeah. Yes. And when and where is it happening? We know it's coming uh, up auditorium, uh, Breed Love Auditorium at University of Arkansas Fort Smith in Fort Smith, Arkansas. That's yeah. Right. December 3rd and 4th, 7 p.m. Yeah, we got some details right there on your screen. Thank you. Got some right details here. on this poster. <laughs> and we'll have details on our website as well, as well as a link to where you can buy tickets. All That's right. right. That's right. You're going to do a little performance for us, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's we'll step, step aside and let the pros take over. Hey, Pops, you think oh. Mr. Feddington might let me stay for the broadcast tonight? No, and don't ask him. Yeah? My nephew Wally, what race? <laughs> Yeah. It's your Uncle Dominic. Make it quick. Hi, Uncle Dom. I'll make those deliveries in a minute, I promise. I wish magazines had more articles on dating and shyness. This war stuff is really boring. I think he's gorgeous. I think he's grody. And what's all this screaming about? That's what I'd like to know. I wouldn't even scream for Sinatra and he sends me right to the cinema. I mean, why would a girl want to open her mouth real big and scream at a fella she'd like to go out with? Suppose she had something on her teeth. Ginger, he does pay him. Teeth are very important. What? And so is your makeup. Anyways, you know, Wally, I was a Rainbow Rendezvous. What? Yeah. We were coming out of Cleveland then. And I would come out and do this sort of warm-up number no, before pops, the show, pops, and then me pops. and the, yeah, I might get to go on tonight. You will. Hey, Daddy, I want a diamond ring, bracelets, everything, Daddy. You want to get the best for me, de 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 Hey, Daddy, she Won't I look swell in sables, clothes with Paris labels, Daddy? You want to get the best for me? From notches to mobile from Memphis to St. Joe, wherever the four winds blow. I've been to some big towns and heard me some big talk, but there is one thing I know. A man is a two-face, a war is something, I'll leave you to sing the blues in the night. 